recently moved from moved your training to Baltimore. Yeah. And uh, you obviously now you've had the experience of swimming both in Europe and now in the US. Yeah. So how would you say it is different? Because a lot of swimmers are moving uh, for, are moving from Europe to the US. And they are saying, well, they're doing something different there, but nobody can really say what they do different. So now that you're over there, <laughs> what are they doing different in the US? I mean, it's just the way the team is. I mean, for me, it is how they are. The training is not, you know, that different depending on who, which coach you're choosing, but the way, I think it's just the way the Americans are. They're more relaxed, they're more supportive of each other. And I mean, in Baltimore, where I'm training now, we all get so well along with each other and we're having a great time. <laughs> we're having a great time together and uh, I think that's just the key like we're so happy and we have an off day there's always somebody who has a good day and will cheer you on so uh, Team Europe is in the lead at the moment yeah <laughs> <laughs> so what? Have you done the I'm yeah I did it in 2011 2011. No, well, in, in Manchester or Atlanta? No, uh, in Atlanta. Right, right. So that was, it was, I mean, we were behind back then from the beginning. So I mean, it's pretty, I'm pretty excited yeah. that we are not behind. Uh, I think it's going to be really interesting. Uh, there's still some, I mean, there's some surprises today and I think there will be surprises again tomorrow. So I'm not going to like say who's going to win it all. So, uh, yeah, you had a pretty good day. I love it. I want to I wanna do it every single year. <laughs> I know it's not possible, but I mean, I like it a lot. Uh, and I hope I'll, I'll get invited next time as well. Um, and you just came out of uh, Show Cross Euros as yeah. well, and back in your home country in Denmark. So uh, how is it to come like to have two quite huge meets so shortly after one another? I mean, I'm pretty tired at the moment. <laughs> I, I gave it my all, both, both physically and mentally, uh, last week. So I'm drained for energy, so I'm just trying to go on the reserve and try and do as, as good as possible. I mean, I was two seconds of my time from last week at this meet. So I'm just trying to get some points for Europe and, and see what the time is. So if this is how you are drained, I don't want to know what no, you really no, no. can do when you're really good. I mean, you left Katie Ledecky behind you, so that that's Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think we're all pretty surprised about that. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I didn't think any of us saw that coming. Uh, we were hoping that Mireya could fight a little bit with her. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then we could fight for the third place, but I mean, we got first to through fourth, so I think that's pretty good for the Europe team. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's awesome. Uh, he's basically my coach when I'm in, in Denmark. Um, he makes me feel comfortable and relaxed, and I think that's a good thing. Uh, he helped me so much in Barcelona this summer, and, and I gave my medal, a lot of my medal credit to him because he made me relax and just have fun and that's what I needed because I was too tense going in. <laughs> he had a dream debut so yeah. Coach, yeah, he did. I mean, we had an amazing team in Barcelona and uh, we just had fun and I think that's the main thing. We had Nick who's, who's really relaxed and making everything feel comfortable and then we had uh, Shannon Rolson from Australia who's kind of the same way and I think that helped the team a lot. <laughs>